Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 135 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career and today's episode starts off with an away game taking on Fiorentina in the league and of course we want the three points to keep us top of the league table right now and we were hoping to get Kai back into some kind of goal scoring form. He's picking up the goals now, uh, now and again but he's assisting more than he's actually scoring goals. So let's see what we can do with him today. The aim is to get him loads of goals as many as possible and so hopefully the AI can help us out here with the assists going forward unless if they don't Kai will just have to do it all himself but let's see how we get on then four minutes gone in the first game in today's episode and it's still goalless but Juve pushing forward cross comes in the goalkeeper read that cross Kai was diving in for it though he tried to get on the end of it with his head and the score is still 0-0 20 minutes played now it's still Fiorentina and looking to get themselves in front in this one but they I was going to say lose possession in midfield, but they don't. They're pushing forward themselves, actually, and still going forward. Eventually, Juve do win possession. And now a chance here for the counter-attack. Here is Vieto for Juve. Comes back in the middle. And now yield rim to Kai. Kai just lays it off a little bit. Cross comes in for Vieto. And Vieto smashes it into the bottom left corner of the Fiorentina goal. And less than half an hour gone. And it is Fiorentina nil. Juventus won. Good finish there, good cross in fact. Whoever it was who crossed that one in must have had the good vision to see Vieto. And a nice finish there in the end to give Juve that one goal lead. Let's see who who was it that crossed. Kai teed it up. And it was a nice little low driven cross actually. And beautiful little control to get past that last defender. And Luciano Vieto scoring his third league goal of the season. He's pretty decent striker actually, Vieto. Remember, Dybala's just left, and we thought that it was going to be Icardi who's going to be replacing him as the main striker. But right now, it's Vieto who's banging in the goals as Niang wins that interception there, and he gets played back through for Kai. And not that one only does. Vieto to Kai. Kai with the acrobatic overhead volley and just over the crossbar there. It would have been Vieto with the assist for that one. Oh, actually, the goalkeeper must have got a touch onto it because it has gone out for a Juve corner. Corner gets swung in near post, but Vieto couldn't control it uh, close to him. And Fiorentina are going to get this ball clear, I think. Well, they did. And now, as you can see, we are into the second half. And here is Kai just inside the 18-yard box. Gets the cross into the far post. Does he find his man? No, he goes out of play, though, for a corner kick. Juve looking to double their lead. Approaching the hour mark. Cross comes in towards Kai as well. But there, the header goes straight into the hands of the Fiorentina goalkeeper. David Clarsen, he's come on in place of Sergi Sampa in the mid middle of the park for Juve. As Kai tried to play it through, but he got the lucky ricochet and he's going all the way through. Can he put it into the back of the net? His first shot is blocked and his second shot rebounds off the post and into the hands of the goalkeeper yet again. Unlucky there. Good chance for Juve to double the lead. And again, we wanted Kai to stop banging these goals in, but he's missing the easiest of shots. So we're hoping we can change that before the end of the game. Just over 20 minutes to play in the game and Kai's going through there. That was a good challenge. Hint of a penalty for a second, but it was a good challenge. And Juve have themselves another corner. So corner gets swung in. And now here's Kai on the edge of the area. Shoots just over the crossbar. And Zaza, he's come on in place of Luciano Vieto in the striker position. Can he secure this three points for Juve? Straight into the hands of Neto. Possible counter-attack. No, he's holding on to it. Wasting time. 15 minutes to play. Ball gets played forward. Good control there from Kai. He turns. He finds Klaassen. And now he's going to carry on his run. Igbun it was who played it through. Kai's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Can he slot it past him? Of course he can. That bumps him up to an 8.8 .8 rating. And finally, Kai is on the score sheet. He's missed quite a few chances in today's game. But less than 15 minutes to go. He does Juve lead. And it's now Fiorentina nil. Juventus 2. Good finish there from Kai. Nice to see him back on that score sheet. That's his 21st goal of the season. Remember, the target was initially around 20 to 25 goals, but we're still in February, so we should be really be pushing towards 30 and maybe even 40. If we're still banging a lot of goals, we could even aim towards 40 goals in the league, which would be pretty insane. But here's a chance to get closer to that 40 goals. Can he put in another? He can. He slots it past the keeper. There we go, two quick fire goals there for Juve and for Kai, stole it off the defenders, he charges all the way through and how many times has he done that in his career, he scores 
And then as the other team take the kick off, he rushes in there, steals it off the defence and then plots, plots it into the back of the net for another goal. And let's see what we can do. Can we get another? We're 3-0 up. Kai's trying to push all the way through here. He's got the power. Has he got enough pace? He's still going. Can he get a hat-trick? Oh, unlucky. A great chance there. And the goalkeeper keeping it out, keeping the scores at three goals to nil. He went across the goalkeeper, which was probably the best thing to do, but not enough on it. And the goalkeeper makes save. Go down and play for another corner. Last chance maybe from this corner kick. That one gets headed wide by the defender. So it is going to be another corner here for Juventus. Looking for a fourth goal in this game. The short one, Kai hits it across the middle, but nobody there attacking it inside the six-yard box. And he goes out of play for another Juventus corner. So this is the, the fifth or the sixth corner now for Juve in this game. That one gets headed away and Juve are going to get the ball clear. The final whistle blows and it is a good victory in the end for Juve. It took a while to come but a nice convincing scoreline at the end. Two goals as well there for Kai picking up a 9.5 final match rating. And then onwards we go down into the second game in today's episode. Back at home in front of the home fans at the Juventus Stadium where we face Lazio. Lazio pretty decent side. Not as good as they used to be, of course, but no doubt they're going to you know, offer up some kind of opposition. A tough opposition, that is, but let's see what Kai can do today. He got two goals in his last game. As I promised, we're going to try and get Colton Kai as many goals as he can in today's episode. Uh, let's see if he can try and grab an early one in this one. He does win possession there for Juve, straight from the kickoff. Now Anderson and City plays it onto that far side for Piaka. And here is Piaka again, plays it in the middle for Kai. Sampa. Good pass and play here from Juve. Nice ball through and he's been taken down. We have a chance to get the early goal that we wanted. It is Lukaku. And he's giving away the penalty. Is he going to get sent off? No, it's just going to be a yellow card there. Uh, but a chance here for Juventus to go one in front. Less than five minutes gone. I'm sure it's going to be Kai who steps up. It is indeed. So can Kai score his third goal in two games? Here he is, the goalkeeper doesn't even move and Juventus have that one goal lead. Kai on the score sheet again, three goals as I said in two games and as it's very early on in this one, still plenty of time for him to go on and get another. It's his 23rd goal of the season. We want seven more goals this year, uh, this season even, and then we can push towards 40. So 17 more goals towards the end of the season when we'll hit 40 goals in the league, which is pretty outstanding and will be his best season so far for scoring goals and assists. He's got quite a few assists as well this year for Juve. And remember, this is his debut season at the Italian side as we push forward here for a second. A chance here for Kai and he puts it underneath the goalkeeper. Who was that that ran through there to tee Kai up? I think it might have been Icardi or Vieto, whoever started. I've not even noticed who actually started as his strike partner today. But it's a good little ball there in the middle. And it is a Cardi Boone. Look at that. Nicely placed underneath the goalkeeper. Just past the defender as well. He was sliding in. That's his 24th league goal of the season now for Kai. Best striker in Europe and the world. He's got to be right now. And he's still only, what, 27 years old. So he's still got about five more seasons at least. And here he is again looking for his hat trick. The goalkeeper makes a good save there. Palms it out for a Juve corner in the very last minute of this first half. It wasn't the best of shots there to be fair. He did have two defenders around him, so he did the best of what he could do. He's on an 8.7 rating right now. And if he gets a hat-trick in today's game, which I think might be his first hat-trick in Italian football, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that will bump him up to a 10 rating. But there is the third goal of the game. And it's almost half-time. This is going to be a route for Juve. Lazio just not doing anything in today's game to be fair. It is Piaco who scores that third goal there for Juventus. And it is game over. We have a nice little convincing three points here. We've got the win against U uh, sorry against Fiorentina. And now we're getting the win against Lazio. We'll have another game as well in today's episode. So hopefully we'll get some goals in that one. And another three points. But there is Marco Piaco. I think that was his third goal of the season. I think it read there. As we go into the second half, just a few minutes played in this second half and already we are on the attack looking for a fourth and Kai obviously looking for his hat-trick. Here is Piaka to Kai, the two goal scorers. Kai plays it out to Anderson the CT. Kai's coming deep for that one. Icardi plays the ball forward and Igbu tried to play the ball forward to Kai but he was taken down and he tried down. It's going to be the second penalty of today's game 
And a chance here for Kai to finally get his hat trick. I'm sure it will be Kai. He's going to be taking this one. It's going to be his second penalty of the game. And a chance here then for Juve to go 4 0 up. It is Kai, of course, stepping up. And Kai Kwan to go score his fourth, uh, to score his third, sorry, Juventus' fourth. He does that indeed. He is the hat trick hero. That bumps him up to a 10 rating. The goalkeeper did go the right way, at least this time, but just too much on it into the side netting. Thankfully, on the right side of the post. And there we go then. Juventus 4, Lazio 0. And we've still got time to even get more goals. 25 league goals so far this season. And as I also mentioned, this could be his last season, his first season and his last season here at Juve. Oh no, what's he done? He's stolen it off the midfield. He's going through the defence. Can he get another? He can. What a cracking finish that is. A low driven shot across the goal. And he's scored his fourth goal now. And that is Juventus' five. And just like he did against Fiorentina, straight from the kickoff, he just powers all the way through, steals the ball. And look at this, his pace and his skill. And then he's deadly finishing, putting that in the low corner. Goalkeeper couldn't even react to that one. And that is his 26th league goal of the season. We're into the final couple of minutes. And I think Juve uh, are going to push for a six here. Uh, but Lazio, I think they want the game just to be over. Kai still on a 10 rating, of course. He's picked up four goals. Looking for a fifth. Can he get five and one? Oh, he couldn't get the shot off. Good defending there that time from Lazio. He was looking for a fifth in one game. That would have been pretty insane. But even with four goals, that has got to be his goal scoring record in his career. And there is a final whistle. And so it does end Juventus 5, Lazio 0. We wasn't expecting that. But as promised, the goals are coming for Kai. Look at that. Four goals in one game. A 10 rating, 88% passing rate. Pretty insane there from Kai. And you can see everywhere. His place there and let's have a look at the top goal scorers in the Champions League is Kai he's currently one point um, clear of his former teammate Rafa uh, where is the Champions League that is not the Champions League uh, World Cup qualifiers there we go that is the league um, 26 goals and Felipe Anderson wow he's there with 11 goals and he's in second place so he's running away with the title right now for top scorer in the league uh, I think, of course, nobody's going to be catching him, even if he doesn't score any more goals this season. But here we go, then, back with some Champions League action. And as we saw, he is the top scorer in this competition, just one clear of Rafa of Arsenal. Former teammates, of course, so it's nice to see them both up there. And let's see if we can extend it, especially against Tottenham Hotspur, one of the teams that we do not like. Uh, Forever Aguna, of course, he has played for Arsenal. And let's see. Oh, he played it through. But wow, that was a bit of a, a wild pass there for a second. I thought he was going to get through there to Kai. Uh, but three and a half minutes gone. Still nil-nil here at White Hart Lane. And here is Tom Story. Getting the ball there for Juve. Getting bullied a bit there at the back. Former Stoke City defender, of course. Playing his first season here at Juve. And it is Tottenham with Deli Alley going forward here. Shot comes in. Goalkeeper forced to make a save there. Just over 10 minutes played here at White Hart Lane. And it is, to be fair, all Tottenham right now. It's a good shot there. The goalkeeper didn't know it was going wide, so he had to dive for that one. Forces a corner here for Spurs, which is going to get swung in. And it's going out a little bit deep. Cleared away easily there from Juve. Uh, but Tottenham back in possession on the edge of the area. Still pushing forward, another shot comes in, thankfully that one not really troubling the goalkeeper, over the crossbar and out for a goal kick. But now, 10 minutes to go in the first half, it's Tottenham nil, Juventus nil, Tottenham swinging in that free kick and still have possession, Deli Alli playing it more forward and the ball straight through the middle, thankfully Tottenham shooting has been terrible in this game, that one should have given them the one goal lead but thankfully for us it goes wide of the goal. And now we need to try and get ourselves a goal as soon as possible. We're into the 52nd minute in this game. And good passing play here from Juve. Trying to get themselves into this game somehow. It has been all Tottenham. And the first shot comes in in the second half. It's from Luciano Vieto. Well, luckily not to get that one on target. We're approaching the hour mark. Who is going to break the deadlock? It's been all Tottenham to be fair. We've had a couple of chances but nothing really um, troubling the Tottenham goalkeeper that much. Sergi Dada has come on in place of Sergi Sampa. And Tottenham are on the defensive right now. Here is Vieto. Plays out wide. Niang with the cross towards Kai Kai. Cannot get that one on target. And he's not very happy. As you can see there, he's been in cracking goal scoring form so far uh, in this episode. But the goal just eluded him there. Still 0 0. 
And not long to go in this match. Tottenham going forward again. Header straight into the hands of Neto, the Juve goalkeeper. Come on, we want to get the three points. Remember, this is the knockout stages of the Champions League. So we can try and get ourselves an away goal before this game ends, which ends in, what, just over two minutes. Well played there, Kai, winning it off the feet of Christian Eriksen. But Tottenham there again. Yeah, let's get it back. Good play here from Juve. Alexandro inside there for Kai. Nice little turn from Kai. Plays the ball forward for Vieto, who smashed it into the top corner of the Tottenham goal. And there we go in the final minute of the game. How important is this goal going to be? Kai will pick up the assist for that. He just tapped it there to um, Luciano Vieto. Just there. And look at the space. Just enough space for him to get it into the top corner. And that gives Juventus the one goal lead. And as I said, that is an away goal as well. Could be a very, very important goal in this tie. Tottenham are not going to be very unhappy. They've had most of this game, to be fair to them. But there we go. That's football for you. And now we just need to hold on. Don't concede a late one, please. Good defending there from his CT. And there is the final whistle. So we take the victory in the away goal advantage going into the second leg. It does end Tottenham Hotspurs nil, Juventus 1.